Working in a multinational company came with its own set of perks and drawbacks. One of them was the late nights spent in the office, catching up on the never-ending workload. But that night was different, a chilling experience that I will never forget. It was past midnight. The office was eerily quiet, the usual hum of activity replaced by the occasional clattering of my keyboard. I was the last one in the office, surrounded by the cold glow of my computer screen and the silent, empty cubicles. The building itself was a towering structure of glass and steel, an icon of modern architecture. During the day, it was a hive of activity, buzzing with employees, clients, and visitors. But at night, it transformed into a silent monolith, its vast halls echoing with solitude. I remember it was around 1 a.m. when I first heard it, a soft rustling sound like papers being shuffled. I dismissed it as the air conditioning, an echo, or my mind playing tricks on me due to exhaustion. I focused back on my work, losing myself in the sea of spreadsheets and emails. But the rustling sound continued, growing louder, more pronounced. It seemed to be coming from the storage room, a small cramped space filled with old files and documents. Intrigued and slightly nervous, I decided to investigate. I got up from my desk, my footsteps echoing in the silent office. As I walked towards the storage room, the office seemed alien and unfamiliar. The rows of cubicles looked like a maze under the dim overhead lights, and every little noise made me jump. I kept reminding myself it was just the late hour playing tricks on my mind. Upon reaching the storage room, I pressed my ear against the door. The rustling had stopped, replaced by an ominous silence. I turned the knob and pushed the door open half expecting to see a mess of papers fluttering about. But the room was as it always was, rows of dusty shelves filled with boxes of old files. I flicked on the light, its fluorescent glow illuminating the room. A thin layer of dust covered everything, undisturbed. I was about to chalk it up to my tired mind and leave when something caught my eye. A file lay on the floor near the back of the room. It was old and yellowed, like it had been there for years. That was odd. Nobody ever went to the back of the room. The recent files were kept up front, and no one had any reason to dig up the old ones. Curious, I picked up the file, blowing off the dust. It was a report about a project the company had undertaken years ago, a project I knew nothing about. As I skimmed through the report, my curiosity deepened. The project was shrouded in secrecy, mentioned only in whispers among the office veterans. It was rumored to have faced numerous setbacks and had ultimately been abandoned. But the details were vague, the reasons unknown. I couldn't resist delving deeper into the mystery. I decided to dig up more information about the project, hoping to uncover the truth hidden within the forgotten files. Late nights turned into early mornings as I delved into the archives, poring over dusty documents and faded photographs. The more I discovered, the stranger things became. The project had involved experimental technology, a new invention aimed at revolutionizing the industry. But as I dug deeper, I realized there was something else at play. Something dark and unsettling. Whispers in the office grew louder. Colleagues shared stories of unexplained phenomena, of strange occurrences during the project's heyday. They spoke of shadows that danced in the corners of their vision, of whispers that echoed through empty corridors. Some claimed to have seen figures lurking in the late hours, their faces obscured and their intentions unknown. My determination to uncover the truth intensified. I spent countless nights in the office, driven by a mix of curiosity and unease. As I delved deeper into the project, I stumbled upon a hidden chamber beneath the building, an underground facility that had been abandoned for years. With trepidation, I descended into the depths, the stale air filling my lungs. The room was dark, illuminated only by the beam of my flashlight. The silence was heavy, almost suffocating. As I explored the forgotten corners, I stumbled upon a hidden door. My heart raced as I approached the hidden door. It stood before me like a gateway into the unknown. A surge of anticipation mixed with unease coursed through my veins. Should I open it? What secrets lay beyond? Driven by curiosity, I reached out and turned the rusted doorknob. With a creak, the door swung open, revealing a dimly lit chamber. The air inside was heavy and musty, as if it hadn't been disturbed for years. I cautiously stepped into the room, my flashlight casting eerie shadows on the decaying walls. The chamber was filled with rows of dusty lab equipment and forgotten prototypes. A sense of foreboding settled over me, as if I had trespassed into a forbidden realm. 
In the corner of the chamber, I noticed a peculiar machine covered in a tattered cloth. It was a contraption unlike anything I had ever seen. A fusion of advanced technology and arcane symbols etched into its surface. Intrigued and wary, I removed the cloth, revealing the mysterious device in its full glory. As I studied the intricate design, a sudden realization washed over me. This machine, this forgotten invention, was the heart of the abandoned project. It held the key to the mysteries that plagued the office, to the whispers and apparitions that haunted the employees. A mix of fear and curiosity compelled me to activate the machine. I cautiously pressed a button, and the room was bathed in a soft, pulsating light. The air crackled with energy, and a low hum filled the chamber. But as quickly as the excitement had taken hold, a sense of dread overcame me. The room darkened, and the machine's glow intensified, casting eerie shadows on the walls. I realized too late that I had awakened something ancient and malevolent. A voice, cold and haunting, echoed through the chamber, reverberating in the depths of my mind. You have unlocked the secrets of the past, but at what cost? Before me, the shadows began to coalesce, taking form. Figures emerged from the darkness, their features twisted and contorted, their eyes filled with a malevolent hunger. They were the manifestations of forgotten nightmares, unleashed by my own curiosity. My heart pounded in my chest as the nightmarish figures advanced towards me, their movements unnatural and their intentions clear. I stumbled backward, desperately searching for an escape route, but the chamber seemed to constrict around me, trapping me within its grasp. In a final act of desperation, I reached for the machine, hoping to reverse its activation and banish the horrors that had been unleashed. But as my hand made contact with the device, a surge of energy coursed through me, causing excruciating pain. It was as if the machine had connected with my very essence, intertwining my fate with the malevolent forces it had awakened. The figures closed in, their menacing presence overwhelming. They whispered in ancient tongues, their voices a cacophony of torment. I could feel their icy breath on my skin, their malevolent intent seeping into my being. In that moment of darkness and despair, an unexpected clarity washed over me. I realized that the only way to break free from this nightmare was to confront it head on, to face my fears and challenge the malevolent forces that sought to consume me. Summoning every ounce of courage within me, I stood tall amidst the encroaching darkness. With a resolute voice, I shouted, You have no power over me. I will not succumb to your terror. A surge of energy surged through my body, pushing back against the darkness. The figures recoiled, their forms wavering as if weakened by my defiance. Encouraged by this temporary advantage, I took a step forward, determined to reclaim control over the situation. But as I advanced, the chamber began to tremble the walls shaking with increasing intensity. It was as if the very fabric of reality was unraveling before my eyes. Panic threatened to consume me, but I refused to yield. I pressed on, determined to face whatever lay beyond this twisted realm. With one final surge of courage, I broke through the crumbling walls of the chamber, emerging into blinding light. As my eyes adjusted, I found myself standing in the familiar confines of the office, the sun's rays filtering through the windows. It was as if the nightmare had never occurred.